The Death and Apotheosis of Hercules In the ancient land of Greece, where myths and legends intertwined with reality, the name Hercules resonated with power and heroism. Born of the union between Zeus, the king of the gods, and the mortal Alcmena, Hercules possessed strength unparalleled in the mortal realm. Hercules had completed the twelve labors, feats of strength and courage that earned him the admiration of gods and mortals. However, his journey was far from over. Fate had woven a tragic thread into the hero's story, and it all began with the deceptive charm of Nessus, the centaur. In a lush forest, as Hercules and his wife, Deianira, navigated the wilderness, they encountered Nessus. The cunning centaur offered to help them cross a raging river, but his true intentions were far from noble. Little did Hercules know that this encounter would set in motion the events leading to his demise. As Nessus ferried them across the river, he couldn't resist the allure of Deianira's beauty. In an attempt to claim her for himself, the centaur devised a sinister plan. Before parting ways, he convinced Deianira to take a vial of his blood, promising it could serve as a love potion in times of need. Tragically, Deianira believed Nessus' deceitful words and held on to the vial, unaware of the impending doom it would bring. Unbeknownst to her, the centaur's blood had been tainted by the poison of the Hydra, a deadly serpent defeated by Hercules during his labors. Years passed, and Hercules continued his heroic endeavors. Yet, the seeds of tragedy had been sown. When Hercules faced a moment of doubt in his marriage, Deianira, seeking to rekindle their love, remembered the vial of Nessus' blood. Unaware of its true nature, she sent a robe soaked in the centaur's blood as a gift to Hercules. As Hercules donned the garment, the poison seeped into his skin, causing excruciating pain. In agony, the mighty hero realized the betrayal that had befallen him. Desperate to escape the torment, he sought remedies far and wide, but the poison's grip was relentless. In the waning days of his life, Hercules faced not only physical torment, but also the emotional toll of impending separation from his loved ones. Surrounded by family and friends, he bid farewell with a heavy heart. The once invincible hero embraced mortality, acknowledging the inevitable journey to the realm beyond. As Hercules drew his last breath, his mortal form succumbed to the poison. Yet, his journey was far from over. His soul embarked on a mystical ascent, guided by divine forces. The Olympian gods, recognizing the extraordinary nature of his deeds, awaited his arrival on Mount Olympus. Hercules' arrival on Mount Olympus was met with awe and celebration. The gods, accustomed to the antics of their divine kin, recognized the unique blend of mortality and divinity within Hercules. A council was convened, and Zeus welcomed his son into the pantheon. The gods, in acknowledgement of Hercules' trials and tribulations, bestowed upon him the mantle of guardhood. His apotheosis marked a rare occasion when a mortal transcended the boundaries of human existence to join the ranks of the immortals. Embracing his newfound divinity, Hercules assumed his role among the gods. He participated in divine affairs, contributing his strength and wisdom to the celestial order. The once mortal hero became a symbol of the extraordinary potential within humanity, a beacon of hope for mortals facing their trials. Hercules' apotheosis left an indelible mark on Greek mythology. His story became a timeless legend, inspiring poets, artists, and storytellers for generations to come. The memory of his trials and ultimate triumph served as a reminder that even in the face of tragedy, greatness could emerge. The tale of Hercules, from his heroic exploits to his tragic demise and subsequent apotheosis, encapsulates the essence of the human experience. In the interplay of mortality and divinity, Hercules' journey is a testament to the enduring power of myth, a mirror reflecting the complexities of life, love, and the eternal quest for meaning in a world touched by the divine.